Okay. Hi, we're back. I'm just diving in today to give you a little quick bit of background on what kind of supplies you might want to have or use. Um, important thing is you can use anything, whatever you've got laying around the house, stuff the kids have had, whatever you've got, you can just use a ballpoint pen. If that's all you've got, you can just use that. That's okay. There's lots of other fun stuff you can have. Um, but if that's all you've got, you can do something with it. Okay, so first of all, paper. What are we... um, for your journal, you've got a few options. You can do one a little bit like this. This is, I make a lot of these. I make them from a single sheet of watercolour paper, which is, you know, you can't see because the frame's not big enough, but quite large. And I don't know, to buy them here in Australia, they're, you know, $10, $15 a sheet. I'll add a link I'll, I'll add a link in the comments to a little video that will show you how to make. This is constructed from one piece of watercolour paper, cut in three across, and then just folded. And you get this groovy little um, pockety fold-back pieces when you make these ones. Um, and that's actually, it's, it's good to work in because it lays flat. You can... Yeah, it's, it's a nice, it's not too big, it's not too overwhelming, it's it's quite nice. If you want to do that, you can. I would recommend, if you can possibly get your hands on and happily afford to invest in a bit in, in watercolour paper, um, that's the best thing. It's it, it, it takes a lot of wet media, it'll handle... Anything we want to put on it, it, it takes the, you know, this whole mixed media journaling thing is a bit tough on paper. So, watercolor paper, if you can handle it. If you want to get it, if you want to get real carried away and make your own journal, go nuts. Otherwise, you can. There are lots of them out there. You can buy. This is a Strathmore journal. It's got a watercolor paper in it ooh, with a little bit of groovy zentangling tree. Um, but yeah, it's probably. It's hard for you to see, but it's yeah, it's a heavier paper. And if you if you look for watercolor paper, this is actually a 500 series mixed media paper, is what they call this. So, if you're out looking, just you know, watercolor paper, mixed media paper, something that will take wet media. Don't stress if you can't. You can do it. You can do it in an ordinary little visual art diary that's just got cartridge paper in it. And you can successfully do things in there too. Your paper will buckle when you put water, wet media onto it, if it's just this lighter paper. But you can still do stuff with it. Okay, so don't 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 get stressed and anxious if you can't lay your hands on watercolor paper. Is what I'm trying to say. So, and as far as size goes, whatever you're comfortable with is what's important. Um, whoop, knock my glasses off that's a4 size that's a5 you can get bigger ones you can get wee tiny little ones and and i've got some of them too and they're nice to work in little tiny secret stories um so yeah whatever you're comfortable with whatever you can get your hands on just a good you know as as, as strong and absorbent a paper as you can find will be great the one thing I'm 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 not going to say go out and buy anything because you know you're tipping your toe in. You don't want to commit to a bunch of art supplies that you may never use again. If you can get hold of some gesso, G E S S O, it's a bit dirty on there. Um, that is it. Particularly if you don't have a watercolor paper journal, this is really good to pre-treat your paper with it. It, it serves two purposes. I, I, there's a lovely artist I know calls it underwear for paint. <laughs> so it's like your sexy negligee. Um, yeah, so two purposes. Lost my train of thought. It 
it seals the page and and it stops the page from sort of sucking up so much of your paint or your watercolor or whatever it is you're putting on it. It, it 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 actually makes your art supplies go a bit further and it gives you a nice surface to you know to to, to draw on and paint on and it, it it's got a bit of tooth it grips your your your, your material your, your mediums hold better with the gesso so if you were if you wanted to go and buy any single thing I'd say go and get some of this. Um, again, not essential, but it'll make you happier. Okay. Um, and from there on, whatever you've got is great. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I use a lot, and you can or you, you can and you don't have to. Whatever you want. If you've got a couple hundred bucks that you want to go and dump on some a little splurge of art materials just to make you happy that's awesome if you don't have two dollars save it to do something else with and just use what you can find um, one of the things I do use a lot is this dilutions ink spray so it's a it's an acrylic ink a water-based ink not acrylic water-based ink in a spray thing and I use it a lot with stencils through and, and that's the first thing we're going to do is play with some stencils now this one is a stencil that I've cut myself I've just I whacked a piece of um, A4 paper in a laminator had the heart drawn on it cut the hearts out um, so it can be as simple as that you can of course have purchase stencils there are squillions of beautiful ones out there and maybe you've got some up your sleeve if you haven't don't panic you can use have a little rattle around your house that came out of a box of chocolates a really long time ago it's just cardboard but I have as you may be able to see just brutalized it and it's still going great gun so have a look around your house you'll find things those plastic doilies um, little floral things they're super and even the paper doilies that you can buy in the dollar shop or supermarket to, I don't even know what people use them for but they're great they just they give you a little bit of a little bit of texture a little bit of pattern without you having to stress about it too much so have a look around your house you can find all kinds of all kinds of things the the pl the plastic um wrapping thing that you that comes on gas bottles is really awesome onion bags I'm talking about stuff that may only be Australian here so forgive me but yeah use you just have a look and anything that's got a little bit of firmness about it will work um, if you want to make yourself some of these we'll talk about this more in our first session but a piece of manila folder will work it won't be terribly durable it will eventually fall apart but to get you going a bit of manila folder will do the job fine okay um, a little bit of paint if you've got paint now I quite like these little they acrylic dabbers um, also there's this ceram coat or something it is these are both a matte acrylic paint so that when you paint it on and it has dried it it dries with a matte finish so when you want to come back in with your colored pencils or your China graph pencil which is a little wondrous creature um, or your sharpie pens I'll talk a bit more about them in a second um, any, or even <laughs> any kind of felt tip marker ordinary just colored pens from the stationery shop you know you'll find some will work better than others but they're all fun um, but yeah so you want a matte paint that's what I was that's where I was going if you're going out and getting paint get um, a paint that will fin give you a matte finish because it's just easier to come in on top of when you finish with the painting part if you can't get matte paint don't have matte paint you can get a matte varnish I don't know if you can see that the glare's a little bit tricky there but a matte a matte medium will will give you that if you're having trouble not essential but you know there it is if you feel that way inclined um, 
indispensable to your art journaling the credit card actually after you've maxed it out buying fun art supplies no <laughs> um, I use these as paint scrapers they're awesome I have about I don't even know how many they're everywhere but yeah old key cards from you know your holiday in some exotic location super have them up your sleeve we'll use those little things that you can stamp paint with where are you um dab it into the paint dab it on so that's a roll out of i don't know something it's been banging around in here for years i couldn't tell you stuff like that that you can make marks with that you can pop in the paint and pop on your page handy to have obviously paint brushes but you know hey fingers fingers are fun um nothing but this is old and battered and brutal and it'll do for what we're doing these foam scrapers can be really fun too they're just they're really cheap you can buy a pack of them from you know the discount shop really cheap or paper towel that's what i need to tell you paper towel baby wipes and i didn't get either of them out and they're the most critical things ever so paper towel to mop up baby wipes are indispensable for cleaning up wiping off layers they wipe off layers really awesome we'll use them a lot um, and while you're out and about in the world or maybe you've got some in your in your cupboard um, napkins now when in the video I showed you you know our first video that that I introduced this to you in there was a page with butterflies on it and that was paper just a serviette napkin thing so I kind of collect there's some very funky ones out there in the world I collect some fun ones that's a really good one because you've got a you've got a bit of a border there that you can tear off and incorporate as well as the very funky chickens um, so yeah I've got quite a selection of those but have a look poke about tissue paper of any kind is really good but napkins work well they're nice and soft um the only other thing to tell you I think is just these and so I've, I've got sharpie pens I find these are good for that's a white one that's like a paint pen so if you want to come back over with some writing over the top of everything at the end or put in a bit of a highlight or a little a little um you know a little catch light in an eye or something that's really good they're, they're pretty they're handy and of all the of all the pens for that sort of stuff i've found these these sharpie ones i don't get a kickback but um the sharpie ones are good okay um that's probably i don't want to overwhelm you with all the things that you could have because you could have i mean let me just pick this up and give you a little quick look it's insane you could have drawers and drawers and drawers full of crazy things can you see? I don't even know if you can see that. But yeah, miles and miles and miles of pencils. I'm going to stop now because that's just going to be embarrassing. <laughs> um, yeah. So yeah, you don't you don't have to go and buy anything. Like I say, use whatever's in the house. And if it's a ballpoint pen, then that's okay. We can do amazing things with ballpoint pens. Um, I think that's about it. Get yourself some paper. Get yourself some nice paper if you can. Um, a journal is lovely. If you go, if, if while you're buying your journal, think about it being able to lay flat when you open it. That that's just nice to have it. it just makes it easier. So if maybe a spiral back, or just check out how it sits on a table before you buy it. Some of them you've got to do battle with to get them to lay flat and it takes a little bit of the fun out of things um i think that's about all for now i'm so happy to have you all here i'm i've been overwhelmed by the response to this i i thought maybe two or three people might be keen and there's my phone thanks so much for being here i've been i'm just delighted to have you all i'm so looking forward to what we're going to uncover together and the things we're going to learn and the fun we're going to have and i'll look forward to tuning in with you 
when I get this next video going. Talk to you soon.